Hello and Happy New Year! Today I'm going to be filming a Q&A because this year I want to be more connected with you guys and I feel like Q&As are a great way to get to know somebody. I went on Instagram and I had everybody ask me questions on there so if you guys don't follow me that's normally where I have people ask me questions or do polls and all that so go ahead and follow me I'll leave it up here and I will leave it in the description as well so let's just jump right into the question. So I'm going to have to zip this down a little bit because this is like kind of irritating my my neck a little bit i got this new sweater from pretty little thing this is so cute oh my gosh i got some other stuff too and i actually am waiting for a package from boohoo or honey bum one of the two but i'm gonna do a haul eventually um i just have to make sure everything is all here before i do the haul i'm getting off track first question is what's your favorite song at the moment and then the same girl asks also how were your holidays that is an easy question for me right now because i've only been listening actually no I've been listening to this one song on repeat. This is not the only song I've been listening to, but I've been listening to this specific song on repeat for the past couple days. Why? I don't know. I've heard it before, but lately I've just been listening to it more. It's Hold Me Down by Daniel Caesar. I'm going to play like a little snippet of it. First you love me, then you leave me in the basement. I know I'm your favorite. If you love me, baby, love me I've been listening to that song on repeat for the past like three days and then she asked how are my holidays my holidays were really good a lot of things didn't go as planned but that's fine as long as I was with my family it doesn't really matter what we do um, as long as we're together we kind of try to make every moment count so yeah my holidays were really good and then <laughs> Cameron asked what are we doing for your 21st I genuinely have no idea I want to go out, like I want to go out and celebrate my 21st. Like with my family, I think we're going to go roller skating because I love roller skating. It's so fun for me. Um, but that's like something like family related. I want to actually go out and go to like a bar, or go to a club or like to experience something that only 21 and over experience. When will you tell the story of you and your boyfriend? um what are they talking about oh okay so i posted a video several months ago talking about i think like 50 random facts about me and i had mentioned a story about me and lewis and how we got together it wasn't really detailed but i had mentioned that it's like a cute story or something like that i think that's what she's talking about we're both kind of like busy in a way i'm about to start school again and he goes to work so we gotta like find a day where both of our schedules kind of like work for each other but I do want to bring him more in my videos and on my channel so yes. are you in high school I've clarified this before on my channel a lot of people seem to think that I'm in high school or that I'm a teenager I am NOT I graduated high school like three years ago next question is what's your favorite video to film I personally like filming get ready with me so any video that is like me talking to you guys and connecting I love those type of videos I like doing makeup tutorials on my channel don't get me wrong but I feel like you don't really get to know me and my personality through those videos which I'm sure like people come on my channel to watch you know certain tutorials or watch her videos and they don't really care about me you know they just want to see the video but like me I want to connect with everybody and I want to be friends with you guys and actually talk with you guys next question is where are you from I am from Chicago Somebody asked, which is actually I'm glad they asked, how to deal with anxiety. I want to do a video about this because I'm still going through um, my anxiety and dealing with that and trying to overcome that. So I'm going to do a separate video about that because a lot has happened last year that I kind of want to talk about. And then another question that kind of relates to that is how did you overcome depression? I'm struggling too, so maybe you can help. Um, I will include that as well in the anxiety video because the, those are two things that I... I'm still kind of sort of struggling with but I'm actually getting a lot better so I will mention all of that in the video where I strictly talk about those two topics someone said this isn't a question but I love your name it's cute and really fits you X X O X O thank you I always forget like that my name is like my full name is actually me Alicia and if you guys didn't know that yes my full name is me Alicia but I always am called Mia for short it's easier for people to pronounce and it's easier for people to spell I'll spell it out for you guys but next question is who is your idol like in my real life is my mother she has gone through so much in her life and she is literally the strongest woman that I know and I look up to her every single day and I'm, I don't know how she does it but she gets through it and she's everything that I aspire to be and more. How can you make your hair unpuffy, 
frizzy and healthy love your videos lovely heart thank you um i would just say hair masks hair oils i know shea moisture has good hair masks i know Cantu has really good hair masks actually this is hair mask here this is a Cantu shea butter for natural hair deep treatment mask i love this mask it is really good if you're just trying to strengthen any like damaged hair that you might have depending on like if your hair is damaged like from heat or damaged from color and for frizziness um oils normally help me i'll take some argan oil or something and i'll slick that through my hair and that normally helps with the frizziness. So the next question is how was your high school experience my high school experience Well, I guess high school was cute in a way. Freshman year sucked. It was shitty. The sophomore year was a pretty good year. Um, nothing really much happened, but I guess overall it was just a good year. Junior year was a little rough because I had to deal with ACT, AP classes that year, so it was a little rocky, like academically. And then senior year was an okay year at first and towards the end of the year there was a lot of drama. And I also lost a few friends that year, but that happens. Um, so yeah, I guess high school was okay. It wasn't the greatest, but it was okay. Next question is, how would you describe your personality? I am very outgoing, but you kind of have to, like, nudge me a little bit. And once I'm nudged and I'm in the water, everything's fine. I'm really down to earth, really chill. I'm also kind of funny. Why do you like makeup? I like makeup personally because I think it's really fun. I just think it's a really fun thing to do. And it also kind of calms me down because I have anxiety. And honestly, makeup is so dope. The way people be doing their makeup nowadays and like the skills and oh my god it's just beautiful a lot of these people are so talented especially on instagram the shit that i see on instagram that people be doing i'm like i can never do that but that is beautiful and that is exactly why i love makeup what insecurities did you used to have when you were younger and how did you get over them um i was really insecure about my size it's like in this world there's no winning you can't be too big you can't be too thin people would make fun of me because you know i didn't have like hips i didn't have a butt you know and i wasn't really curvy i was just like a stick and i guess that was one of my insecurities um which was why like i didn't wear tight clothing all that much that's why i want to start working out more and getting more fit and kind of like shaping myself into the body that i want i just want to be thick good was it awkward for you at first when you started filming like talking to just the camera if so how okay so it cut off but i'm assuming they mean like how did you I guess overcome it um it was really awkward for me because i was a really shy person but i just i don't know i guess after a while you start to loosen up a little bit say if you're first starting a channel rewatch your videos take notes see what you're doing that you like see what you're doing that you're like oh my god why do i keep touching my hair why do i keep doing this and just take notes and start kind of practicing make videos for fun first and then like kind of you know see okay you know i can tell i'm getting more comfortable and it's all about practice truthfully it's all about practice and continuing continuing to post videos or at least continuing to film videos and eventually that awkwardness kind of just goes away next question is how is chicago hard eyes i've never been the weather is a little floppy like today it's almost 50 degrees and sunny outside but just a couple days ago it was 20 something degrees so the weather is unpredictable there's so much to do here though it's such a beautiful city and there is so much to do. A lot of people go downtown when they come and tour Chicago, which is like, I guess, I guess it makes sense. But at the same time, there's so many other neighborhoods you can come to. Next question is, who are your favorite YouTubers? I have a shit ton. I will list them somewhere here, but I have a shit ton of favorite YouTubers. I watch a lot of big YouTubers, but I watch a lot of smaller ones as well. But um, just to name some right off the back, I love Jaclyn Hill, I love Liz Ryan, I love Juicy Jazz, Kelsey Simone, Colleen Diaz, Amanda Diaz, Antonio Garza, Emma Chamberlain. I have this love-hate relationship with her, but I still watch her videos, so I guess that's all that matters. Arlene Sanginas, Jessie Jessie Beauty, Ash Got Cakes TV, Nazanin Kavari. There are so many YouTubers that I watch that like, some of my friends are like, who are you watching? And I'm like, um, have you not heard? Have you not? Have you been under a rock? Next question is, what do you use to edit your pictures? I use two, three apps, basically. Um, one app that I use is Cunicam, and then another app is Facetune 2, and I also use Visco. So this is what my phone looks like, and this is where 
I have all my editing apps. I have Facetune here, Cunicam, Visco, and I use these three sometimes, but like those are not that important. This is what I mainly use. So first thing I do is I go to Facetune, and I have a selfie here that I just took to like show for this example. I go ahead and go to Retouch right here, and I normally first thing I do is I hit the Smooth tool, and I smooth out my face a little bit. Sometimes I have some texture that I need to cover up. And not much of a difference has been made, but it does kind of make a slight difference overall. And then sometimes, depending on the background that I have, I'll go to the retouch again and I'll hit the whitening tool and I'll whiten up the background um, just to brighten things up back there a little bit. Sometimes there are some colors that I just don't think are aesthetically pleasing, so I just cover those up. I don't know if you can see the difference, but yeah. And then sometimes what I use is the reshape. Uh, tool I'll go in and lower my eyebrow because one of my eyebrows is like slightly more arched than the other one so I kind of use that to bring it down a little bit I just wanted to show it for this example and after that's done sometimes I'll go back into retouch and I'll use the glow tool just to enhance my highlight a little bit anywhere where I'm a little glowy I just use that and, and now you can kind of see where I highlighted actually kind of accidentally highlighted here when I didn't need to but yeah now you see the glow and once I'm done using the Facetune app I save that picture and then I go to Kunicam I use different filters like um, this one and this is the only one really I use I don't really use any of the other ones but um, to get that kind of purpley warm filter I use this app for it but I don't really want to do too much here I just kind of like want to use it a little bit I keep it like around 30 um, sometimes I'll add like a light filter here I don't always do this but like from time to time I will like that's kind of cute so I'll leave it just a little bit and if I want to add dust to kind of make it look a little like old or kind of you know I don't know like add that dust effect today I don't think I want to and then if I want to add like that 3d effect I go to 3d and you can intensify the the 3dness i guess and then once i'm done i hit save done and then i go to visco and then i will import the picture go to the little tool thing here and this is where i'll add like any other filters that i might want to add normally i use filter f5 and i'll just bring it down a little bit but i don't think i'm going to use it today maybe i'll bring, bring it a little bit and then I go to the little like tool thingy here and I normally use this for highlight like I'll bring the highlight down a little bit so it's a little more matte bring the highlight down and then I will use the grain effect to add that grainy effect and I'll save that and I'll save it to my camera roll and yeah that's basically how I edit my pictures and the last question is, what advice would you give to somebody trying to start YouTube but are too shy to do so? My only advice would be to not give up. Under any circumstances, do not give up. Do not care what anybody's going to say. Do not feel embarrassed because that will only slow you down and stop you from succeeding. I, I promise you. I just thought people were going to make fun of me, especially at school. So if you want to make videos and you want to start a channel, please do it. There are so many people out there who want to watch new people. I want to watch new people. Go ahead and start a channel. You don't know how many small YouTubers that I watch and I'm like, why aren't you big? Like, why aren't you up there? There's so much room on YouTube for more YouTubers. So by all means, start a channel and do not give up and don't care what people think because at the end of the day, you might be up there in a couple years. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. I don't know, some people had some questions and they were constantly asking me so I was like you know what let me just make a Q&A um, and if anybody has any questions that they didn't get to ask me on Instagram you can leave them in the comments below and if you guys want to subscribe to my channel feel free to do so so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye I don't even need to use my light or do I do I is that gonna be too bright oh god yes okay <laughs> Hello? Hey, bro. Hey. Hey, what you doing? I love you. <laughs> I'll, I'll Snapchat Bye, you. Girl. Bye. Oh my god, this is like.
you don't understand how hot it is in my room today and of course the one day I wear like a thicker sweater to film a video it's 50 degrees outside